speaking of jobs, losing jobs, uh, yesterday, Sir Michael Singleton, uh, who was a Republican, you've often seen him on this show, uh, was, uh, he's a senior advisor in the Department of Housing and Urban Development. The Trump administration fired him yesterday because of several articles he wrote critical of Trump during the campaign. Now, Sir Michael Singleton worked on the campaign of Ben Carson. Ben Carson, of course, is Trump's nominee for Secretary of Housing and Urban Development. Well, after more vetting, Shannon, they decided to fire him, walked him out of the building yesterday with security. Now, here's what's amazing. At the news conference yesterday, Trump said that he was hiring somebody who was part of the Never Trump movement to show that he is pulling the party back together. Well, Shannon, if that's the case, if he's hiring folks uh, who were against him, part of the Never Trump, why fire Sir Michael Singleton, who was critical of Trump, when you're hiring other people and you say, I'm pulling the party together? Security walked the brother out of the building. Let me just say, uh, we may all be Republican, but that doesn't mean we drink from the same glass of Kool-Aid. Let's be real. What they did, the way it was done, was incorrect. It was wrong. You have to have people around you that do not agree with you so that you have any chance of having a fair and balanced perspective on every issue or any issue. So I happen to believe that it was wrong what was done and how it was done. Uh, but, you know, you've got some folks that call themselves in the Republican Party that think a different way than, than, than most of us. And clearly, some of those folks had a hand in that and should not have. There's a certain way that you treat people regardless of party. There's a way you treat people. And that was wrong. Here's a statement Sir Michael Singleton released. Folks, go ahead and pull that up. Jamira, I want to get uh, your quick comment uh, on this. This is what uh, Sir Michael uh, had to say. Uh, folks, go ahead. My party in particular has allowed itself to be taken over by someone who claims to be a Republican but doesn't represent any of our values, principles, or traditions. This is actually what he wrote uh, in The Hill late uh, in the campaign. Uh, the Trump team, when they went through a second round of vetting, discovered this and it's Decided to fire Sir Michael Jameer, your thoughts. I mean, I would just say that Trump only is a party of himself, and what you're seeing, what you're seeing with the firing of Sir Michael, is actually going to be very. It's much bigger than just him. Every nominee that has come across the Congress has said that they have no problem with disagreeing with Donald Trump if they get um, selected in that position. And we are, we've already seen with Sir Michael what happens when you disagree, when you criticize, when you are, when you critique the president, you get fired, you get um, walked out in handcuffs. So I think we need to have a, a real conversation about how Donald Trump is actually going to operate the government. Government and take critiques from his own staff, potentially. I think really quick. Well, well, first, well, first, well, first well, hold on, hold on. Correction, he wasn't walked out in handcuffs. Yeah. We'll no, go I'm right sorry, ahead. Walked out uh, by Devon, police, I, yes, or security. I got you, Devon, about 30 seconds ago. Yeah, yeah, I just want to I think it's really important that we don't dismiss the power that Trump has been able to amass as a result of a movement that, in the backdrop of, of it, had the resistance to the, to the moves that we were making around racial justice. I think it's important that we understand that even though what we see seems ridiculous, Ridiculous. His base, he's able to mobilize them and be able to act as he does. Oh, look, look, he, he's mobilizing his base, but even Republicans on Capitol Hill going, yo, this is crazy land time at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Kickstart your day at 7 and get the news you need from the perspective you want. News One Now with Roland Martin, every weekday morning at 7 on TV One.